cell scanning platform can really change the way we do healthcare. And I founded a company called Essia because my lab invented a groundbreaking cell scanning platform that I believe can broadly impact healthcare. So Essia's cell scanning technology basically images organelles, which are sub-compartments inside living cells. Um, and organelles are just like organs of the body. So just like organs of the body perform specific functions for the body, organelles of cells perform specific functions for cells. Now, MRIs and CAT scans revolutionized our ability to pinpoint disease and stratify risk because it allowed us to see which organs inside an opaque human body were malfunctioning. Isia's cell scanning technology goes deep inside these cells, chemically images organelles, and this reveals the type of abnormality and where it's present inside the cell. Now, organs malfunction because their constituent cells malfunction. And for several diseases, this can be traced right down to organelles of the cells malfunctioning. So we wish to bring to market a breakthrough diagnostic for a class of diseases called lysosomal storage disorders, which arise because a specific organelle called the lysosome is dysfunctional. These diseases are rare, they are genetic, and the patients are nearly always infants and children, and they are a nightmare to diagnose. So uh, very often, many of these children uh, live only up to their teens because they can only be diagnosed in the advanced stages of the disease. And early diagnosis is really critical because that can actually buy another 10 years or even 20 years for the patient. So the people that we wish to help with our technology are people who are, who are at genetic risk, and these number about 12 million. Because our platform can be miniaturized, you can use it to screen populations. Because you need a very small number of cells, it's ideal for testing infants. Patients themselves can be monitored throughout the course of their lifetime. And you can even use this technology to distill out a cohort of patients for clinical trials. So, because they are also rare diseases, uh, they may not appear very profitable for Big Pharma, which is why the university's setting is actually crucial in bringing about this diagnostic. Because lysosomal disorders are actually proof of concept for a, uh, they're very powerful proof of concept for the simple reason that uh, there are two factors. One is it, it represents a filling of a clear and unmet need that has been there for several decades. And uh, our platform will provide this very compelling solution. So then this allows us to easily expand to cover other organelles uh, that are involved in very common diseases such as heart disease, diabetes, and cancers. So this, you can see that now the scope is actually quite massive and this requires a very long vision, which this university has. Thank you. There's so much exciting stuff that's happening on campus and it was really nice to see, you know, colleagues of ours uh, talk about very complex concepts in just a short uh, soundbite, you know, uh, which means that they're doing really impactful stuff.